teachers and students at Carnegie Secondary School have taken something old to create something new. They've come up with a special design that has been adopted to Singapore's geographical features to generate electricity. Wong Wen Wai explains how it works. This group's idea was inspired by what Singapore doesn't have, tall natural formations such as mountains. So teachers and students at Cranji Secondary School developed the concept of water falling from a height through a tube to produce electricity. The water travels through a curving tube called a siphon. It can suck up and supply water from a height and channel it to a lower level to drive a turbine and other components to produce electricity. The water starts at ground level and is pushed to the siphon hydro generator far below on the seabed. The distance the water falls generates the force to turn the turbines. It's like uh, drinking water from a can of soda with a straw. So as I put the straw to my mouth and I suck the air in, the pressure which is lower here and the pressure is higher here will force the water upwards into my mouth and I have to drink the water. So the concept of this is the same. The water enters the housing into an air cavity before being pumped out. The water falls onto a turbine. The turbine is connected to what's called a dynamo. When the turbine turns, the dynamo produces about 9 volts of electricity, similar to a rectangular-sized battery. Increasing the height and diameter of the siphon tube raises the falling mass of water inside. So the makers say increasing the mass of water can turn larger hydro-generated turbines. The school is looking for a partner like a polytechnic or university to develop the concept further.